Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. We had fun unboxing this Bangle JS smartwatch. Now we're going to load some apps. First, you want to make your watch programmable by going in here. Now I'm going to load the active pedometer, the compass, the dot matrix clock, GPS info and GPS time, and the heart rate monitor. Here's the Bangle JS app loader website. You want to open this in Chrome so that you can connect via Bluetooth right through the browser. Here you can see we're pairing with our Bangle JS watch. That's pretty simple. So because Bangle JS is open source, I want to show you each of these open source apps has its own GitHub website. Here's the GitHub website for the active pedometer. We're going to go ahead and upload that. Don't worry, I'm going to show the output of these apps after using the watch for a bit. Right now it's going to have zero on everything. Here's another great feature of this Bangle JS app loader website. If you see this icon here, you can actually try out that app in the emulator. And this takes you to the web IDE where there's an emulated version of the Bangle JS watch display. So you get to try it out without even uploading it. And you're in the web IDE. I actually don't know how to code in this language, but you got me in the IDE already, and now I feel like I can do the code. Wow, and there's the emulated dot matrix display. I definitely want to load that up on my watch. And we're loading up the rest of my list here. So now let's see how they work. Here's the Compass app, and it's pointing in the direction of north. I really like this dot matrix watch face, and it does show your heart rate from time to time and the direction you're walking in based on your GPS signals. Here's GPS info. It took a while to get a fix, but once we got a fix, then the watch is good. Every time you come back to the program, it just takes about 30 seconds to acquire a fix. Here's GPS time, so you can set your watch to GPS time. Here's the heart rate monitor. As you can see, I'm pretty excited about this watch. And I did a little walking, and here's the graph of my steps in the pedometer. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed checking out a few of these apps from the Bangle JS App Loader website. I'm certainly going to be checking out more. Up next, I want to check out Gadget Bridge because that's how I'm going to get notifications and weather from my smartphone to my wristwatch. Okay, thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.